Hey, Flip Geometry, how you doing? We're jumping into the next lecture here, Lesson 3.5 in the fourth edition of Bob Jones University Press's Geometry book, talking about the equations of lines. So we are again reviewing Algebra 1 and uh, letting it apply now to geometry. So the standard form of a linear equation in the Cartesian plane, and this is something that you learned back in Algebra, AX plus BY equals C where neither a nor b is, is zero. If you have uh, a or b as a zero, then, then uh, it throws things off. The constants a, b, and c in that equation are typically expressed as integers with a being greater than zero, so a positive integer. Um, and this is a system that we've learned before. You've used this a bunch, and we're going to be applying this now in geometry. So um, let's use the x and y intercepts of, of this line to graph it. So um, 2x minus 3y equals 6. Um, so we're going to find the y-intercept first. What's the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the place where the line crosses the y-axis. How do I find that? Well, that's where x equals 0. So in the Cartesian system, x is 0 at the y-axis, right? So we're going to put x in as 0, and we're going to solve for y. And if we do so, we find that y equals 2. So on our Cartesian system, we could, we could put a point in at 0, 2, right? And then we would know the cross is the y-axis there. Let's do the same thing for the x. Um, if the x-intercept is something we're looking for, then we need to put y in as 0 and solve for x. So 2x minus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. Anything times 0 is 0. So 2x equals negative 6, and x equals negative 3. So then I can say x, um, the, the next point on my line is at, z, is at uh, negative 3, 0, right? And so I put that point in, and now I can graph the line. Negative 3, 0, and 0, 2. And I can graph this line at 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, you've done that a bunch. Um, hopefully you're remembering that you've done that a bunch. The slope-intercept form of that equation rearranges things and solves for y. y equals mx plus b. This is a much more frequently used equation that you probably are more comfortable with. And in this, the slope of the line is m. Uh, this here represents the slope of the line, and the y-intercept of the line is b. This is the, the uh, point at which it crosses the y-axis. y equals mx plus b. So um, if I have different points, I can use this equation and calculate uh, or, or graph the line. If I have this, line, this equation, I can graph the line and find points. Um, so it's a very useful tool for you. Let's do an example. Write 3x plus 4y minus 4 in slope-intercept form, and then graph it. So uh, 3x plus 4y equals negative 4. I need to solve this for y, right? So let's bring the 3x over, and then let's divide by 4. And I have y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 1. If I wanted to graph that, remember how to, how to graph a line in slope-intercept form? This, again, is where it crosses the y-axis. So it crosses at negative 1. And then its slope is negative 3 fourths. So it goes down 3 for every 4 that it goes over. So I could go down 3 and over 4, put another point, connect them. Or if I wanted to go to the, uh, to the other direction on the slope, I could go up 3, but then I'd have to go left negative 4, right, to make sure that my slope is still negative. However you do that, you're going to connect the, the dots and get a straight line. So that's one way of graphing a line. All right. The graph line has, has a slope of 1 half, in this particular example, up 1 and over 2. Um, the graph line has a y-intercept of 3. It goes, it's right here. And so I can express this line in y equals mx plus b form. I could say that its equation is y equals 1 over 2, 1 half, plus 3, because it's crossing the y-axis at 3. So you can use this information both directions. Here's more fun with numbers and points. Um, write the equation of the line through the point negative 5, 6 with a slope of negative 1 half. So I've been given a point, but it's not the y-intercept, and I've been given its slope. You could, on a, on a you know, piece of graph paper, on a Cartesian system, find negative 5, 6, put a dot there, and then go down 1 and over 2, put another dot, 
do the ruler, draw a line, you're done. But if we want to do this algebraically, we need to do a little bit of manipulation of some numbers. So y equals mx plus b. Remember, here's the y, here's the x. Here's my point that I'm supposed to be using. Here's an x value. Here's a y value. So I'm going to put negative 5 in for x. I'm going to put 6 in for y. And I now I have 6 equals negative 1 half times 5 plus b. I'm solving for the y-intercept, right? So I'm going to go through here. And I'm going to solve for b, and I get that b equals 7 halves. I already have the slope, so now I can express this line in standard slope intercept form. y equals negative 1 half x plus b. It's another way to create the slope intercept uh, formula. Okay, moving on. All right, here we go. Here's another example. Write the equation of, line, of a line through p that's parallel to k. Now, first thing we need to do is figure out the slope of k, and remember parallel lines will have the same slope. And then I'm going to use point P as a point on a line with that same slope, and I can write the y-intercept form. Okay, so here we go. Um, slope of line k is 2, and I could demonstrate that by going up 2 and over 1, and there's the line again. Up 2 and over 1, and there's the line. So the slope of k is 2. So y equals 2x plus b. I've got to find out what b is. I need to plug in my x and y values from what I was given for point p and solve for b. Okay, so here we go. Negative 1 equals 2 times negative 3 plus b. Where did I get that? Well, point p is negative 3, negative 1. So I put in my x and my y values, and now I'm going to solve for b. So I find out that b equals 5. So now I can plug that back in with the slope that I found from k and write a line in standard slope intercept form y equals 2x plus 5 and that would be a line that goes through k parallel through point p okay write the equation of the line through p perpendicular to k same thing now I look at the line k and I say hey look it's got a slope of 2 but what would be the perpendicular line now through that well the perpendicular line would not have a slope of 2 it would have a slope of negative 1 half so the slope of the line I'm looking for is negative 1 half. Plug in the x and y values from point P, and I can solve for B again. I find this time B has a value of negative 5 halves, and so I can write my standard slope intercept form, y equals negative 1 half x minus 5 halves. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions on that tomorrow. And until then, God bless you, Jesus loves you, and so do I.